tied for six for the Pelicans. What's been driving that success? Uh, I think getting healthy, number one, um, for, for both teams. I know the, the Clippers have done a great job of figuring out their rotations, uh, which has helped clean it up for them. Um, and then it starts defensively. Uh, being able to get stops, being able to rebound the ball, communication on the floor, it makes it you know easier to get out and run in the open floor and play to our advantage. And you have so much athleticism. How do you attack the, the challenge of defending Paul George and Kawhi tonight? We got to throw different looks at them. Um, continue to make their catches difficult. Both of those guys are extremely uh, dangerous three-tier scores. You know, they can score at the basket. They can shoot the three. You know, they, they can post in mid-range, get to the free throw line. So making it, their catches tough, be physical with them from the start of the game. Minnesota, we saw Brandon take a charge. We saw Zion have that block and Anthony Edwards. Just how much does it help you guys as a team when – those two guys uh, are, are doing that kind of stuff defensively. Yeah, they, they both have been fantastic uh, on the defensive side of the ball. And that's what it takes, a commitment from especially our main guys, uh, communicating on the floor, understanding their matchups, and, and really just fully committing to, to guarding uh, night in and night out. It's hard to do to play both sides like that, but they're doing a great job. Do you know about uh, Trey Murphy for tonight yet? Yeah, so Trey is uh, he's gonna go out and warm up, and um, we'll have an update for you guys shortly. Yep. And Coach, uh, a few days ago, CJ talked about getting more movement in the offense. We talked about it after the Utah Jazz game. Most the last four games, your three points are up, effective field goal percentage is up, and a sister up to like twenty eight point three on on the night, which would be the fifth best in the NBA. Is there something you're seeing from this team that you know maybe that would be something you think you can continue to keep going, or is this just a hot stretch? We definitely want to keep it going for sure. Um, when you have numbers that are as good as those numbers, you you want to, you know, some somehow bottle that up and continue to teach, preach, coach that this is how we have to play. And um, you know, teams are going to come in and try to take things away from us. But we, if we continue to trust each other and share the ball, pass up good shots, get great shots, I think we'll be fine. And to touch on Trey again, how's his demeanor been through this, you know, day-to-day -day process? Well, he's yeah. not quite sure. It's going to see depending on the night. Just watched him warm up with Herb, and it seemed like he's in pretty good spirits. Yeah, he, he's been in pretty good spirits. He understands that he's coming off a, a, a knee surgery, and, you know, there'll be days where it's some up and downs, but uh, mentally he's, he's a strong, strong dude. Yeah. Any idea why your team has been so successful against the, the Clippers? They've really struggled here. <laughs> um, I do not – I don't know why. You know, it's just, you know, we go out and try to be good no matter who we play. And um, I don't have the, the necessarily the answers of why we're, we're good against the Clippers. But, you know, hopefully we can we can be good tonight. So it's not voodoo in the world? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Do you notice anything different when you look to that film, whether you're prepping for them or after the game, you're like, you know what, we don't do this every night. Do you know what I mean? Like if, like when you play the Clippers, like for example, you shoot 44% three of the last 10 games. But like when you look at it, the way your team plays, do you say, this is something that we've done differently that we don't do every other night? Not in a negative way. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think we try to have a standard in, in how we play. And, um, you know, it doesn't, it, that doesn't happen every night. Um, but we want to be a consistent team on both sides of the ball. And so that's why it's hard for me to answer that question is because we want to go out and, and be a really good, solid team every night. Uh, looking at how the old defend in particular, it looks like the things that star players like to do the most when we pick up all those one isolations, the team does a great job taking those things away. I mean, what do you observe when the team has to defend those options? It's a it's a commitment on the defensive side, um, understanding the game plan, executing it, trusting each other on on the defensive side of the ball, communicating. Uh, we know that primetime guys are going to touch the ball. We want to keep them off the foul line and force them to take tough shots all night.